We're going to look at the end behavior of a power function. Now I've called this function p of x, p for power function. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what happens when there's two variables or two constants here. There's a and there's n. And we're going to look at some different possibilities here. Now if a is positive and n is even, what happens? We have a little table of values here. And when we plug in negative one, we have negative one to an even power is going to be positive one. So you're just going to get A. And plug in zero, you get zero. Plug in positive one, positive one to the end power is one. So you just get out A. You graph those three points right here. And the end behavior is what happens outside of the middle. It goes up on both sides. Now there's one other way to describe this. You can also write uh, well, it depends on the order you want to write it as x approaches negative infinity, which means to the left, what happens to f of x? It approaches positive infinity. And as x approaches positive infinity, meaning to the right, what happens to the y value or the f of x value approaches positive infinity? So this means it goes up on both sides. Okay, so that's a positive and even. Now we're going to look at a negative, but also n even. We have another table of values. Uh, the only difference now is you get the same three values, except a is now negative. And what that means is your graph opens downwards. Now this shape should be familiar. A quadratic uh, has, or a parabola has this shape too. And this would be a negative leading coefficient, which means it's down on both sides. And of course, what would change when you write it out, uh, instead of f of x approaching positive infinity, it would approach negative infinity and negative infinity, meaning down on both sides. All right, so that takes care of the even case. Now we're going to look at the odd case. So the difference here is n is odd. So when you plug in negative 1 to an odd power, you get negative 1 out. So your output's going to be negative a. Plug in positive 1 here, your output is regular a. And this, uh, the end behavior is up on the right, down on the left. And if you just cover up the middle, what you get is this shape right here, up on the right, down on the left. And the last one, a is negative, n is odd. Uh, so you get the same table of values, except now a is negative. So these are the three points you get on your graph. And the end behavior, uh, is up on the left, down on the right. So if you might be wondering, well, how can you remember these? Just think odd, they don't match. These are both odd, and the end behaviors are opposites. Now what happens in even, even is a parabola, so they match. They're both up or they're both down.